Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Father Steve Sellers and thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel today for this brief daily message of hope and inspiration and joy. And I truly do hope that your day is going in a great direction already. And if not, maybe we can help each other uh, turn and head in the right direction. Uh, I played a song uh, just a few minutes ago uh, that was a one-hit wonder song from 1967 by a British uh, symphonic rock band, they call themselves, called Procol Harum, uh, which is a misuse of the Latin. They uh, weren't sure what it meant. It means beyond these things, uh, actually, and that was the only hit this group had, Procol Harum. Uh, but it was such a big hit in 1967 that the last I checked, they were still touring the world on it. They dropped out for a little while and came back in the 80s and have been touring since then. As a matter of fact, I think they had a double album that was released in 2017. Beautiful song uh, that doesn't make sense because it's a beautiful song about seasickness and getting sick and an extramarital affair and people throwing up. It doesn't make any sense. But it also inspired the great John Lennon of the Beatles to write his song, I Am the Walrus, which has the same sort of step down uh, chordal style, uh, wider shade of pale was in the key of C. Lennon played uh, I Am the Walrus in the key of A. And it also doesn't make any sense. Not a whole lot makes sense uh, uh, sometimes in music and in life also. We are hearing all over the place that these are uncharted waters we're in, uncharted territory. Uh, this pandemic is, uh, is throwing everything off, including the economy and the lives of people and jobs and families and all of that, uncharted territory. Uh, we just had our first death of a, of a colleague of mine, a Catholic priest who died a few days ago. And now the uh, other five uh, or so members of his religious order in the same house have COVID-19. So we're in uncharted waters with that. Uh, priests are the ones who were on the front lines. And uh, so are the teachers, so are the law enforcement. Uh, so are hospital medical staff, and uh, but we do what the Lord has called us to do, and so this is new territory now for me to have a, a colleague whom I did not know very well. I'd met him, uh, a member of the Redemptorist Order, uh, pass away. Uh, he had pneumonia. They're not sure yet whether it was COVID-19, but his brothers in the same uh, rectory in the same house have COVID-19, so we're praying for them, uncharted waters. And my simple message for us today, when things don't make sense, when we're in uncharted waters, is to pay attention to the one who does know the way, the one who is never in uncharted waters, the one who's with us now, who leads us and is not confused, not mystified, not baffled. He understands and he's with us and he knows the way through this. So when we're hearing the words uncharted waters and new territory, turn to the one who is always present, who knows the territory, who knows the water. And I just want to quote from a, a psalm that I was reading this morning. This is one of my favorites, Psalm 139. Uh, in uh, times of turmoil and trouble uh, and confusion, it helps to turn to the one who exists in eternity, who is with us. But Psalm 139 basically just starts out, O oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O oh Lord. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, and I know that full well. All the days for me were ordained, were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God. And indeed, how precious to us are the thoughts of God. And please know that you're in his thoughts and he loves you. And when you feel like you're, uh, nothing's making sense and you're in uncharted waters, remember it's not uncharted to God. 
He created all of that. So he knows the way, he's with you, and he'll carry you through. I hope you have a blessed day today.